Welcome to tutorial number 10 on Xcode Swift. Uh, today we're going to look at performing simple calculations um, using Xcode Swift. So um, we'll get straight into it and we'll open up a new Xcode project. So we'll go to new project. Uh, single view application. Uh, we'll call this one basic mathematical calculations. Language, of course, will be Swift. Uh, we'll simply choose iPhone device by default and the next button and we'll just save it in our uh, practice folder okay so we'll go to our main storyboard and what we'll do here is we'll place a number of buttons labels uh, on the screen. So let's go to our uh, object library. So what we want is three labels. Uh, one down here. We want one button here. And we want to enable the user to input on two fields. So we'll drag two text fields next to the label. We'll make that a little bit bigger. Okay, now label will make a bit larger so we can actually uh, see it when we write the number title in there. So we'll go to the first label and we'll call it number one. We'll go to the second label, we'll call that number two. Our button, we will call calculate. Our label underneath, we will call result. Because that's where we'll place the answer. We'll make that a bit larger and we'll also make the calculate button a bit larger as well. Of course we can um, align to the left if we want to. Um, there's no issues there, we can do that if we want to. So. Have a play around with these setups here to, especially when you're designing your own applications, um, to what suits you best. Of course, you'll have decided that already when you've designed your application using POP. Um, and of course, uh, that's something you'll uh, learn about in our following uh, tutorials. Okay, we'll make the text a bit bigger here. Okay, so what we have here is number one, number two, which will be entered here, and then we're going to perform a single, simple calculation, uh, and then the result will be outputted here uh, on the screen. Okay, so what we need to do now, of course, is to uh, connect our user interface uh, with our 
with our view controller Swift file, which is this one here. Okay, so that's what we'll do right now. Okay, now we'll get rid of uh, this side of the utilities um, window so we can give ourselves a bit of room. Okay, so what we'll do now is is we'll we'll drag these text fields and buttons and labels across to the viewcontroller.swift file. So we're connecting our objects to the code and creating our code for the calculation. So let's uh, let's do that now. So holding the control key down on your keyboard, click on the label and drag the line across the screen. And you'll see um, it says insert outlet or outlet collection. So we'll just let go of the mouse button here. Okay. And um, simply all we're going to do here is um, uh, just call it an outlet. Uh, we'll give it a name. That'll be number one, which is what we've called it on the screen. Yeah, it's just a label. Um, we're going to connect. Okay, so that's done. And then we'll do the same thing for number two. Uh, don't forget to hold the control key on the keyboard down when you do it. Drag across. And same there. And connect. Okay, uh, next object we want to connect is uh, our user interface field. So hold the control key on the keyboard again, drag across to the view controller swift file and this time we'll call this uh, field one okay so number one uh, we'll actually call it field one so it's a text field okay um, it's an outlet still not action okay and we'll click connect there there we go that's done so we'll do the same for the second field, field two. Okay, that's all okay. Go connect. Um, then what I'll do is drag the label result across and connect before I do the calculate button. And we're going to, we're going to call this label result okay so uh, label result is an outlet okay and it's a label and we'll just go connect okay so there we go all right so we have our labels um, and our text fields connected all right the only thing we haven't connected yet is the calculate button and the reason I've left that last is that it's in the calculate button that we will actually write code to to allow us to perform a calculation of numbers that are entered by the user okay so let's click on the control key on the keyboard 
click our mouse button, hold it down, drag across the screen. Okay, so this is an, uh, an action. Okay, and we're going to call this uh, calculate. user interface button. We could we could have left it as um, any object but anyway uh, we'll leave it as it is. Um, touch up inside event and arguments is from the sender okay and then we'll click on connect. Okay so that's connected now. Now as you can see the code that will perform the calculation needs to be within these two braces. Okay, so that's the opening brace, that's the closing brace, and within those two braces, we'll have, we'll, we'll actually write the code that allows us to perform the calculation of the two numbers. All right, so let's get into it and let's write the code that will allow us to do that. Now I'm going to start off with uh, a variable name and the reason I'm going to give it uh, a variable name is that in order to take the two numbers that are entered by the user, uh, we need to actually extract the numbers from the fields as a string and then assign them to a variable which will then be used to perform the calculation. So let's write that up now. We've got variable A, and of course we have field 1 dot text. Okay, now that's very important to uh, write in there, okay, because our field 1, of course, as you can see up here, is a text field. Alright, so it's dot text. And then of course, what we're doing is we're taking the we're taking the number that's inputted by the user as a string. Okay, now because we're performing a mathematical calculation, we need to designate it, designate our string as whether it be an integer or whether it be a decimal. And the way we do that in computer code is we assign it what's called a dot float value. Okay. Now, a float value is like a decimal number. Okay. If you had double value, that's also a decimal number, but it's a bigger decimal number. Okay, so all you're doing here is writing in a float, you're saying you've got a certain sized uh, decimal number and we're going, to, we're going to assign it as a float okay and uh, that will allow us to add decimal numbers together and output them on the screen as a decimal number as well as a decimal result as well okay so that's important to recognize so that's that's a fairly important piece of coding that you need to get your head around okay so we're now going to do the same uh, because we've got two numbers here, okay? So we're, the user's entering two numbers. We're going to call it variable B equals, like the code above, exactly the same, uh, except this time what we're going to do is instead of field 1, I'm going to call that field 2. Okay. All right. Now, we've assigned our two fields to a variable called A and B. Now, what we can do is we can actually perform a calculation from those two variables. And how do we do that? Well, again, we designate the variable sum as sum 
equals A plus B. Simple as that. And it shouldn't have a break there. Okay, that's better. Okay, so variable sum equals A plus B. Now that will take the two numbers entered by the user and add them together and assign the result to the variable name sum. Okay, so in memory, in computer memory, we have the variable called sum. The adding of integers or decimal numbers A and B is put together and assigned to the variable sum in computer memory. Okay, so that's all good and fine, but what we now need to do is we actually need to output the answer on the screen. All right, and we need to write um, a bit of code in order to get that to happen. So how do we do that? Well, if you remember over here, we've got the result label. Remember we called it label result. We assigned it as a variable. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually call it now label result. Just check to make sure I've spelt it correctly. Yep. Okay. And of course, label result is a label. However, we're assigning text to it. And you can see it's already popped up with text because that's our string. Okay. So we've got our string there. And what we're going to do now is we're going to place the variable sum in brackets make sure that's a double turn call uh, sorry um, quotation mark double quotation mark there and what that will do is this will output on the screen as an answer in our label result variable on the screen. Okay. All right. So let's um, let's fix that up. Make it neat. All right. Now, uh, what we'll do is run it to see if it works. So let's save the file first, and let's run it. Okay, so we've got here uh, number one, so let's put in, uh, let's say two, uh, number two is three, and then calculate. And that will give us the answer 5.0. Now, I didn't actually specify in our code here um, how many decimal places, All right? Now, Swift has a way of dealing with uh, numbers in that by default it will give you an answer um, usually to one decimal place or depending on what the user has inputted here it might give you two or three decimal places. Now I'll give you an example of that now. So if I was put in 2.23 and 3.45 and then calculate you can see it will give me the answer to two decimal places. If I was to place four decimal places for the first number and leave the second number with two, it will still calculate it to four decimal places. So it is very user friendly uh, in the way in which it performs its calculations, uh, you know, and avoids you having to uh, specify how many decimal places. Um, it should output on the screen. Now, having said that, there is actually a way in code 
to force Swift, to force Xcode to actually display uh, numbers to a certain number of decimal places. And we will look at that in our next tutorial. Now, the significance of this particular tutorial is that um, for many apps, you are required to perform calculations of one kind or, or another. So if you can do something like this, um, which is reasonably straightforward, um, then you can obviously perform these sorts of calculations for a, a lot more complicated applications. So um, yeah, that's something to, um, to make sure that you understand, okay? And um, hopefully that's helped you in um, learning how to actually allow the user to input numbers and perform simple calculations on the screen.